picks of the week. Well, as as I mentioned earlier in the uh, show, that I've had uh, issues with the uh, new Facebook questions feature that they rolled out that lets people ask polls to all their friends and whatnot, and and have these questions that people can answer. And you know, you'll have questions like, "What are the top three websites you visit every day?" or "What color is your lightsaber?" or "Which of these one hundred movies have you seen?" I'm like, really? Do we need to? I'll answer these questions. I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in my friends answering these questions. I don't care what 100 movies they've seen. I mean, why would anybody take the time to even do this? I don't get that. And my problem is that there isn't a way to actually disable or turn off Facebook questions. Facebook says it's a feature, just like events and photos, that you don't turn off. It's, it's not supposed to be turned off. So they don't offer any way to yeah. turn it off. I've gotten a lot of, um, are you a Republican or Democrat? Yeah, and it's just stuff that everybody's asking, and it kind of clutters up your your news feed, your, your messages, and it's just like, do you need to see all those things? Yeah. So I was searched out, and I actually did find a solution that gets rid of all this stuff, which is really nice. It's called FB Purity or Fluff Busting Purity. It's really cool. It does. Uh, it removes your Facebook questions. It hides them, and it does a whole bunch of other things, which I think is really cool. You can hide a whole bunch of stuff. You can have. Uh, you can hide who you became friends with, who liked pages, who joined a group, who's attending an event, who attended the event, created an event, changed locations, updated the profile, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can you can filter all these things in your uh, newsfeed, take them out, hide them. And it does that. Plus, you can also hide um, your events box, your request box, poke box, all that stuff on the right side in the sidebar. Mm -hmm. That's kind of useless to me anyway. You can hide that stuff, which is really interesting. You can change the font size if you want. You can have an application whitelist. So if there's an application that's being hidden, you can actually enter that ID of that application. And it'll still show that application if it's really that important to you. You can also have a custom text filter. So if like a bunch of your friends, for whatever reason, love Justin Bieber, and that's all they ever talk about is Justin Bieber, and you could care less to see those those status updates where they're talking about Justin Bieber. Yeah. Well, you can create a custom text filter that'll uh, filter all those messages out. Anytime that's they say really Bieber good. or Justin Bieber, you won't see those. That's great. It's really interesting. It also comes with a export and import settings, so you can save your settings. Import them if you're on another computer. You have the same thing installed. Uh, you can also, what I think is really interesting is that when it hides these, it actually has a message on your Facebook that says for app hidden or for extra hidden, and you can show them. So it's not necessarily totally gone and hard to find where you have to disable this whole thing to actually see the message. You can simply click a link, and it'll actually show you what's being hidden. It's really cool. It's yeah, an add-on really cool. for, uh, let's see, I think it's cross-platform and cross-browser compatible. Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, Opera. It works as an extension, or you can also get it as a uh, user script for Grease Monkey, and it's totally free, but they do ask for a donation if you can afford one. So all you do is you just go to fbpurity.com. You can install it, and you can get all the information, all the features that it does. It's really cool. It removes those annoying, stupid Facebook questions, plus a whole lot more. Just go to fbpurity.com to install it. 